What is up everybody? It's Emily with Brown Cow Creatives and today I'm going to show you how to make the baby milestone acrylic rounds. I made these a couple weeks ago for a friend of mine that's having a baby girl. These are perfect for mamas to take pictures with their little babies as they get older and they're so pretty and they're so easy to make. They are just a little bit time consuming because you do have to do a whole set of 13 of them all together but they're really really easy and once you get the hang of it they go pretty quick. This is the one that I made as an example before I started on my first set and it really turned out so pretty. Um, it is all it is this one is just acrylic paint on the back side and I had to do several coats of acrylic paint and then I just use permanent vinyl for the white and then the gold shimmer is just a permanent gold vinyl that I got from Hobby Lobby. It is not Cricut brand. It is the Paper Studio brand. And it turned out really, really cute. So I'm really happy with the results. Um, they just look so professional. They're shiny and they're just, they're so pretty. I love them. So the first thing that you're obviously going to need is the acrylic rounds. You can get them at um, on Amazon. This is the design that I used for today's project and my friend is having a little boy so I wanted to kind of do one that was a little more boy friendly. It's kind of a boho kind of feel to it. Uh, the acrylic rounds are again from Amazon. You can get them in a pack of 36 for I think less than $10. They come with a protective coating on both sides and to get started you're going to want to peel the protective coating off of one side keeping it on the back. And then what you're going to do is just paint. Um, today we are going to be using a chalk paint that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to show you how I set up my workstation for that. So the first thing again you want to do is peel this off. I use my little weeder tool and then I just peeled that protective coating off. And then I'm going to take my little cup here. This is my little stand that I made for um, painting. It's just a solo cup with packing tape on it. I know it's a little pathetic looking, but it works and it's cheap. So there you go. So all you do is just stick your round right on the top there and then you can take your paint and paint right over it. The trick to getting these, I got a lot of questions about how'd you get it, you know, how'd you get the paint so smooth? Well, the only real trick is that it's, um, you've got to use the right brush. So this one I used acrylic paint and it turned out fine, but I did have to do two or three coats on it. But the brush I think is really the key. You're going to want to use a sponge brush and not a bristle brush. The bristle brush kind of spreads the paint around on the acrylic and it just, it, I don't, it just didn't look right. I practiced with both, with both kinds and I really like the look of the sponge brush much better. So what you're going to do is get your paint. I use just a regular chalk paint today from Hobby Lobby. It is the folk art brand. It's Spanish moss is the color, which I absolutely love. Look at that color. It's just so pretty. I love it. I think it's just perfect. Green is my absolute favorite color. So what I'm going to do is speed this video up as I'm painting this. And once we're finished, we're going to let it dry. I'm going to seal it with a clear acrylic coat. Uh, it's a spray. I'll show it to you in just a bit and we're gonna get the design placed on the back. So I will speed this up and I will be right back. One thing that I wanted to stop and say really quickly is that if you do not wanna go all the way to the edge like I did, you could absolutely stop kind of in the middle or close to the edge so that it would create kind of that brush stroke effect. I've seen some really cute ones done that way. I have not done a set like that yet, but you definitely could. You just have to kind of play with it. Okay, so I've got my first coat on. And what I'm going to do is just let this dry. I'm going to see if it's going to need a second coat. I don't know if it's going to. It's looking pretty good. So we may not have to do a second coat on it. But if we do, it's no big deal. I'll just do that. So I'll let this dry. I'll come back, tell you whether or not I need a second coat, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so the first coat is dry, and this is the way that it turned out. I do think that I'm going to put another coat on it because you can still see through it and I don't really want that to be the case 
because I am going for more of a smooth look. If you wanted to do just a rustic kind of look, this would be perfect. There's nothing wrong with this. I just prefer for this style to have a more matte finish. So I'm gonna paint one more coat on this. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll come back and show you how I applied my design. Okay, so my round is completely dry and it's got the acrylic clear coat on it on just the side that I painted, not on this side. This is the side we have not touched yet. It actually still should have the protective coating on it. Don't take that protective coating on on that side until you're ready. Um, so once you're ready, then you can take it off and one thing while I'm taking this off that I do want to tell you is that a lot of people are asking about sealing the side with vinyl. You never, not in any circumstance, should you seal vinyl. Um, permanent vinyl is meant to stay on. Of course, you know, if you're going to be manhandling it a lot, it's it's eventually going to come off. But if, it, if it's something like this where it's not going to get a whole lot of use, Permanent vinyl is fine. Actually, you could probably even use removable vinyl, but I prefer to use per permanent vinyl just to be on the safe side. So I've got the protective coating off and it looks so good. Um, the second coat was definitely needed, but guys, this only took, I, I did use my heat gun to um, speed up the process a little bit and it only took like five minutes to dry. So this chalk paint is the way to go. Not that the acrylic paint took longer to dry, but it's just that the acrylic paint, you needed, I needed like two or three coats to make it look as good as this looks. So I love this chalk paint. So I'll, I'll, I think I'm gonna keep this in the back of my mind. So, all right, now I'm on the side that does not have the paint on it. This is the side that has nothing on it. The protective coating is removed. And now I've got my design. And what I did was I, used white vinyl, white permanent oracle vinyl, which by the way, we did like a dream. These little bitty, especially look at that teeny tiny dot on that exclamation point. I was so nervous about this because there's some intricate little details in this one. That font is really thin and I was just really nervous about it. But that oracle vinyl, ooh, I'm telling you what, that is good stuff. So I used oracle permanent vinyl for the white and then the uh, I guess it's like a metallic rose goldish color. I just found that at Hobby Lobby. It's um, the studio. It's a, their brand, which is that studio, the paper studio. And it's fine. I used it on the other set and it did really, really good. One thing I will tell you, you know, I'm, I am I hate to bash Cricut, but I love, I love Cricut's products. I love the, I love my maker. I love everything, but their vinyl is just, it's really expensive and it, for me anyway, it's missed the mark. I mean, I bought this foil vinyl once to do a project for my mother-in-law that should have taken literally five minutes. It took me over an hour and I, I was just so frustrated with it. I'm not sure what happened, but this vinyl was a dream to weed. It was super easy to cut. I will tell you that if you're gonna be cutting some stuff that has these little bitty intricate details like this, you have to use a very, very sharp blade and none of this using foil to sharpen your blade. That doesn't even sharpen your blade, by the way. Um, it has to be a newer blade that is, uh oh, look at that, I've already messed it up. That is going to cut well because otherwise you're not gonna get these nice details cut properly. Now, let me mess with this for a minute because I'm now gone and started talking and I have not been paying attention. Okay, so I'm gonna, press this down really, really hard. You know, I need one of the, a newer one of these things. I don't even know what this thing is called, but I need one that's bigger. I think I'm going to be on the prowl for that. Okay. So, nope. Y'all, this, again, y'all, this is Cricut's transfer tape, and this, that is a brand new piece of, of transfer tape, and it is still not lifting this vinyl up. I mean, see what I mean? Y'all, I'm going to have to write them a letter or something. I don't know. Jeez, oh, Pete, get it together, people. Okay, so um, what I did was I took a piece of transfer tape and I pulled up this part of the design from my other piece that I cut out and then I just put it on here. I just thought it was easier just to put it on. Now, you know what? I'm going to use the camera 
to help me get that right because I feel like okay all right there we go so now it's down and I did it all at once that's why I, I used this got this piece up put it in the middle of there first you could you don't have to do that you can do separate and do the white first and then put it doesn't make a difference however you want to do it is fine okay so now I'm gonna push 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 and that's it oh and I'm loving this color combination already I'm so excited about this this is gorgeous this green with that rose or goldish I'm not sure if it's like a rose gold or just a gold gold can't really tell on the roll it looks rose gold but on this it looks gold <gasps> look how pretty oh I love 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 it oh yeah that looks really really good so that's all there is to it so again you never want to seal this don't seal this don't seal the vinyl you will ruin your vinyl I learned that the hard way do not seal your vinyl ever there's no reason for it it will not come up it is on there it is good to go if you put something on it it will seep under there and it will start peeling. I learned that the hard way. I made Christmas presents for my family um, a couple years ago and it started lifting and I had to redo the project. So do not seal your vinyl. There's no reason for it. You can seal this side just to prevent scratches, but on this side, there's just, there's absolutely zero reason. So there is my design. Now what I do is I make 12 more. I make them, you know, for one for every month. And then the last one says I'm one year old um, and it makes for just really, really cute pictures. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helped. If you have any questions, please, please, please ask me below. I'm happy to help you. And if you have not done so already, please subscribe and share this video so that I can get some more subscribers to my YouTube channel. Um, my Etsy shop is doing really well, but my YouTube channel is really sad. So please subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And again, thank you so much.